I'm leaving you to be with a lovely, attractive woman, and I will give you a share of my retirement payment to my new wife. I'm disgusted with you. I can't help but laugh. I know how you feel. I don't care, but you will regret it. Huh? You're a sore loser. I never regret anything. I felt sorry for my husband. He doesn't understand anything. My name is Anna, a 62 years old housewife. I married for almost 30 years to my husband Tom. My only son Sam is already 28 years old and working well. And last year, he married a wonderful woman named Olina. They have a happy family. The time is that my child rearing is over and my husband retires in a few months. As a couple, we will be able to spend our days slowly. I'm thinking about the many things in the past. I and Tom have had our fights, but we have managed to make it so far. I was thinking about what kind of celebration for Tom's retirement day. You may have no idea, but I want you to agree to a divorce. What? Tom said it while we were eating. I'm tired of you. Did I miss hearing what he was saying? Maybe I'm getting old and my hearing is worse. Sorry, what did you say? I told you, I asked you to divorce me. I want you to end the marriage. This time, I heard his words clearly. He wanted to end our marriage. I didn't understand what he meant. Wait, wait a minute. What do you mean? Do you get a divorce suddenly? It's not out of the blue. I've made up my mind for a while. I'm going to leave you before I retire. What's the reason for that? I'm tired of you. What? What do you mean you're tired of me? It can't be help because I'm tired of you. Wait a second. I can't get it. Please explain to me. Shut up. You're always bothering me. I'm retiring in three months. So get your old stuff and get the hell out before them. Wait a minute. It's too sudden. I can't deal with it. I resisted it desperately, but he didn't listen to me at all. He confronted me with the divorce papers. I have no idea when he prepares the papers. He had kept them in a drawer. I thought I would be living with him for the rest of my life, but it was too sudden, so I lost my words. I don't love you anymore. I don't want to live face to face with a dirty, spotted, sprinkled, bitchy old bat every day. Oh my god, that's awful. That's what you thought? I don't have romantic feelings for Tom anymore either, but I love him because of being with him for such a long time. How could he say such a terrible thing to me? I'd have been a housewife ever since I got married. That's why I had no way to survive if Tom left me. So I couldn't go anywhere. Tom didn't care about me. After he finished writing his parts, he left the divorce papers in front of me and went somewhere. Tom has always been a bit of a husbandless man. He didn't do any chores or say a kind word to me. But it wasn't a big deal for our age group. He used to hold both my hands and say, when you get married, you will join the family and support the house. Then I will protect this house and Anna. I had planned many things for retirement, like traveling with Tom, but now he was asking me to get a divorce. I felt as if I'd been left alone in the dark. After a while, I found myself and I was angry with Tom to divorce me for such a selfish reason. Even if we get the divorce, I want to discuss it completely and go through with it. I need to be convinced. After all, Tom did not come home that day, so I couldn't sleep enough. Today was Saturday and he came home in the morning. I tried to talk to Tom, but he quickly went to his room. He told me not to talk to him because he was sleepy. What's wrong with him? He has acted this way before when we have had fights, but it was never like that without any reason. I wanted to know the reason why he was suddenly divorcing me. Tom finally woke up. It was past 5 in the evening. Then he went to take a bath right away. So we finally had a chance to talk to each other at dinner. 
Well, I can't accept your suddenly divorcing me because you're tired of me, don't love me, etc. That's what young couples say. Tell me about the exact reason for the divorce. Huh? I'm telling you, I don't want to be with a spotted, wrinkled old bat anymore. That's not acceptable. I'm telling you. Hey, come on. I put up with you being ugly. Because I'm gentle, and there is no other man like me. I'm such a gentleman. But I've reached my limit. I can't live with an ugly woman like you. Whenever I tried to talk to Tom, he kept saying the same abusive things to me. Don't ask me nonsense. Tell me quickly when you are going to leave. Are you listening? I can't be convinced, so how can I decide to get a divorce or leave the house? Once you give me a good reason for the divorce, I will decide what I'm going to do. Up until now, I've accepted his husbandly behavior because I was his wife. But if you are going to be a stranger, I can't stand my husband's arrogance. As I was not taking a step back, Tom said, That's enough. He began to lie down on the sofa and turn on the TV. Excuse me, I still don't finish my talk. I'm already done. Now you pack your bags and leave, that's all. Then, Tom stopped talking to me. He ignores anything I say and works away from me, even when I stand in front of me. He stops having the meals I cook and starts to use convenience stores and supermarkets or eat out. I've tried changing the day and talking to him constantly, but he refuses me. When Tom would come home for work and see me, he would sigh and then spend the rest of the day as if I wasn't there. I wonder if there is any way to overcome this crisis. While I was thinking about this, I suddenly received a call from my son. Hello, mom. I'm planning to celebrate your birthday with Lena. I'm thinking of going out for sushi with four of us, including dad. How's that? I cried at the timing of Sam's call. It was as if a thread of tension had been broken. Sam was very surprised because I suddenly started crying. What's wrong, mom? What happened? I told him that his father asked me to get a divorce. It doesn't make sense at all, but he wasn't to discuss the matter. Moreover, he was now treating me like air and then ignoring me. Huh? What do you mean? Sam said quietly, but his voice was angry. I'm going over there for a minute and talking to my dad. He came to our house that night. Dad, what the hell is going on? Tom was very surprised by Sam's sudden visit. What happened? You came to visit all of a sudden. I've heard everything from mom. What do you want with a divorce? We can't understand any reasons. When my son said it, my husband stared at me. You're the one who told Sam? You're a coward, you know that? It ages since we talked to each other face to face. Because you have been ignoring and refusing to talk to me, right? If you had talked to me, we'd have worked it out, you and me. Dad, I don't agree with you. I can't understand the reason for the divorce. Please take your time to talk. Thanks to Sam saying so. Tom finally sat down to face me. Tom still stubbornly refuses to say the reasons. I'm saying I'm tired of it. That's the end of it. I was getting angry with Tom for saying such a thing, even in front of Sam. Sam was getting appalled. You don't even care about our time together as a family anymore. Remember? When Sam was a child, we used to travel around as a family, right? When I said this, Tom fell silent awkwardly. I said, Look! We have also a record of Sam's childhood and our family photos in this album. I showed it on the shelf to him. I thought it would remind of the happy time we spent together as a family. Then Tom put away the album. Enough! I won't change my mind whatever you do. I will divorce you. I don't care if I never see Sam. This statement was too shocking to me. I guess I can't have a serious talk with him anymore. Alright, 
then let's separate for now. Huh? What the hell are we separating? Divorce right now! I'm telling you, I can't get a divorce now. When we get a divorce, I will get half of the retirement payment. Why? That's crazy! I was with you for 30 years. I deserve to get that. Dad, you must pay that much because you're asking for a divorce in a selfish way. Sam said that, so Tom reluctantly agreed. He may think I won't sign the divorce papers unless he agreed. Anyway, we became separated like this. And Sam said, come to our house because Lena had given her consent. Dad has never done any chores, so he can't live by himself. If you live separately for a while, he will feel how much he appreciates you. Thank you, Sam. I'm really glad you came today, too. Tom went out with a sulking look on his face, so I packed my bags and left home with Sam. Hi, Anna. It's been a while. I'm sorry, Lina. I didn't mean to bother you. Please don't take that way. No problem. Don't worry about it. Please stay as long as you like. Lina is a wonderful wife. Recently, my life with Tom was like living in hell, so the time I spent with my kind son and his wife was peaceful, comfortable, and happy like heaven. Why were you so reluctant to divorce dad? I had a feeling that there were other reasons for him, so I was going to investigate. But I needed money for that, so I started working a while ago. I see. I'd have paid for the investigation. That's not how it works. I don't want to bother you by parents' selfishness. Besides, even if we get divorced, it would be better to have a proper job. Since Tom started treating me like heir, I'd been thinking about what I would do after he left me. I had a bookkeeping license when I was young, so I looked everywhere for a job that would hire me, even if it was only part-time. I found a company that was seeking someone. They appreciated my experience that I had worked in the same industry for about 12 years, so I managed to get hired. All I have to do now is investigate Tom and find a place to live alone. That's my mom. But you don't have to find a room to live alone. What? When I and Lena heard about your divorce, we both agreed to live with you. So if you like, we will live together. Besides, it would be great if you could stay home with us. Lena rubbed her tummy saying so. What? No way. My son and his wife nodded happily. Surprisingly, Lena was pregnant. I was actually going to tell you on your birthday. I was more than happy to find out the birth of my grandchild. Then I had to break up with that man as soon as possible. I requested an investigation by a detective agency. I received the result of the investigation within a week or so. I was worried that the investigation was so fast, but there was solid evidence of infidelity. Tom went to a hotel with a young woman invited her to his house and did not come out until morning. Apparently, the separation had made him let down his guard, and he was hanging around with the adulterer partner. I went to see Tom with the evidence. What the hell? What are you doing here? I'm ready for a divorce. Tom's expression brightened when I said that. Finally! He handed me the divorce papers with a smile. Oh, by the way, I'm telling you, I'm not giving you half of my retirement payment. I knew it. You will give it to the young woman, right? What? Tom was upset for a second. Oh yeah, let's go to a hostess bar. That's fine. You don't have to hide it. I know everything. Saying that, I showed Tom the photo as the evidence of the affair. Why is this? I hired a professional. You are having an affair. That's why you wanted a divorce. Tom was surprised, but he took the offensive. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to leave you and be with a lovely attractive woman. And I will give your share of the retirement payment to my new wife. I can't help but laugh. I'm disgusted with you. 
I know how you feel. I don't mind, but I'm sure you will regret it. Huh? You're so a loser. I never regret anything. I felt sorry for Tom. He didn't understand anything. I started to fill out the divorce papers. Ah, uh, it's great to finally be free from an ugly bitch like you. My new wife is in her 30s, but she likes older men. She thinks I have the confidence of an adult to handle things well. You know what I mean? I'm attractive. I don't know. I finished filling out the divorce papers, answering that in my mind. I resubmit them. Then, I headed for the front door. Tom was making a phone call to his affair partner. He looks very happy. Our son and his wife were waiting for me in the car in front of our house. They kindly thanked me for my hard work. Then, I went straight to the city office and submitted the divorce papers. Finally, my divorce from Tom for 30 years was finalized. But my revenge started from here. First, through my lawyer, I demanded half of the retirement allowance and alimony as a division of property. Besides, I sent a content certified letter to my ex-husband's workplace. It was the time for him to be retired very soon. According to the lawyer, Tom was angry that the employees looked at him coldly because of me. So his retirement celebration turned out to be a simple one. He had constantly refused to give me the retirement payment, but when I told him through the lawyer I was willing to go to court, he started to get upset. In the end, he paid me the retirement payment and compensation in one lump sum. This settled the matter, but Tom had more difficulties ahead of him. A few months later, Sam received a call from Tom. According to what he had heard, he had tried to remarry his affair partner, but she had run away just before he was about to marry her. Moreover, Tom's affair partner wanted to open a restaurant, which had been her dream for a long time, and asked him to pay out of his retirement payment. Tom was planning to pay out the money when he got his retirement payment, but he borrowed money to pay for it because the tenant he was targeting was very popular. He was told by an affair partner that he needed to sign a contract immediately. A few days later, after he got his retirement payment, he tried to withdraw the money to pay off the debt, but his retirement payment had been withdrawn and was gone. The tenant that the affair partner was trying to rent still seems to have the sign. It says a tenant wanted. It means Tom was completely scammed. The police have been notified and consulted, but even months later, nobody was caught by the police. That's a pity, but in the end, it was Tom's fault for having an affair, so I don't feel sorry for him. I will continue to work hard at my current job and live my life. I will take care of my son, his wife, and my grandchildren who will be born in the future. It will make me so happy. If Tom had not had an affair, he would have been able to retire properly, receive all the retirement benefits, and live a comfortable retirement life. But he was such a foolish husband. I think it would be better for her to be with her son's family than to spend her life with a jerk husband. I hope she will be able to live a peaceful and comfortable retirement life. Thank you for watching to the end. Please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.